What up, you guys? It is Drea from Underground Hip Hop Blog. I am incredibly excited to be here with you today. We have the Visionaries and Rod Digga performing. It's going to be an amazing experience. This is one of the first concerts to open up since the pandemic started. The line is going to be out the door. The show is sold out. It's going to be incredible. So let's go talk to some people and see how they're feeling. Zen, how are you feeling today, bro? How are you I'm feeling? Good. I'm good. Excited about the day. Yeah. We watched your warm up. That was pretty intense. Do you have any like pre show rituals that you like to do beforehand? Um, I like to, I mean, I, I normally, normally I like to be by myself so that I can tap in, run over my, uh, you know, run over my lyrics. And, but, uh, man, we haven't done a show in a while. I know. How do you feel? This is like one of the first shows since the pandemic started. I'm excited. The energy is here. Thank you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm kind of jumping outside of my, my show and normal thing is to, to like be with the people and everything. Because it's just been a while, man, and I miss you guys. What's up, you guys? We're here with the Boom Bap Kids. We got Woes. Woes, how you doing? Aloha. Yo, what's up? What's up? We're here with Mikey Disco. Mikey, how you doing? Uh, hi. Uh, thanks for having us. Thank You're you. very welcome. You're welcome back. <laughs> nervous, nervous. Yeah. I, uh, wait. This cameras. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a little nervous, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, okay. Well, hi. hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Two cans, trips, Fernando. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Doing great. Shit is dope. Yup, sunny day in California. That's right. It is so warm outside today. After being in the pandemic, being around all these people, the vibes are up. Energy is high. I'm excited to be here. Are we all big boom bap people over here? Yup, yep. real hip hop. Real hip hop shit. Yup. Of course. Of course. All right. So, who are you guys most excited to see today? My boy Elemental from the Visionaries. Visionaries in general, you know what's up? You know, I'm a DJ, so Rheumatic. What's up, Rheumatic? Hey, that's what's up. I noticed you got some Visionaries merch on. Did you get that here? I know there's a big merch stand behind us. Self-made. Check it out. Whoa. There you go. I am here with Louie and Caesar. We are at the Visionaries and Rod Digger show. We are so excited to be here. It's kind of hot today. How are you guys feeling? Good. Craft beer. Cool yourself down. <laughs> I'm hungover. You're hungover? Well, we have more beer. If you are hungover, that can cure it. So I notice you have a beer in your hand. What type of beer is like your go-to if you are drinking a beer? Actually, I, I stopped drinking for a while now. So. You just live off of the vibes, bro. Yeah. I get, cont I get the contact high off the homies, so. That's right. That's what's up. What about you? I'm an IPA man. I need I need something with a little bit more a little punch, yeah, a, little a little kick, punch so I, I a little kick. This right here is a double IPA. Yeah, so you know this will be my one I think maybe until I get on this on stage because IPAs also have a little bit more alcohol content. So uh, we're drinking some IPA. Um, this is called the what? West Coast, the, Coast Finest, Coast Belly Bombs. So, yeah, it's pretty good. This shit. You know, any this any shit. kind of beer is good right now, so especially you know being out and about. So, uh, choice of beer. Well, um, before I used to like a lot of pale ales, but I have gout, and um, yeah, so that's right now I had to put my legs away that because uh, the whole gout flare up thing. But um, ideally, like you know, a lot of ales, yeah. pale ales, you know, yeah. or I, what actually what I used to do was I used to look for whatever had the highest alcohol content, but then yeah, gout. Uh, I like IPAs. Uh, yeah, I like IPAs. Everyone today is saying how much we, they love IPAs. We interviewed three other people and they all said they love IPAs. What about you? What are you? I'm a hazy guy. I like the hazy. A hazy? What is your, do you have like a favorite that you, was your go-to? Um, the Carl Strauss Mosaic. That one's top of the line for me right there. So we are super excited. This is like one of the first concerts since the pandemic started. How are you guys feeling? We're outside, we're with people. This is insane. How do you feel? This is awesome. Like, you know, I, I guess we all were feeling cabin fever for a while. 
So, and on top of that, we have a lot of homies here in the community, so it's dope to get together and kick it in this, you know, California sun is dope, you know? Hell yeah, it is like a really beautiful day. There's like not a cloud in the sky. The energy is super high, the vibes are on. So um, tell us a little bit about Boom Bap Kids. We have this amazing merch right here. Um, you guys look like you're killing it. I want to know all about you guys. Tell us a little bit about you. So uh, Boom Bap Kids was um, an art project that I had started during uh, right before the pandemic. And it was actually just to shoot a music video. But then I linked up with Mike Steele and DJ Silent John, and um, we decided to try to rock it on Twitch. And then it kind of took a life of itself, you know? So we've been uh, rocking shows with Beat Junkies. We did a huge show with Z Trip, Newmark, Babu. Um, yeah, we have a lot of projects. You can find us on Twitch. Called uh, We're called The Boom Bap Kids on Twitch and The Boom Bap Kids on Instagram. And we usually go live. Um, on uh, Fridays at 10:30, and we usually have some ill-ass DJs. So, hell yeah! Well, thank you for sharing it with me. It was so nice meeting you guys. Bye. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting the movement. We really appreciate it, and we're gonna have a great show for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Cheers. <laughs> Rock a beat set any minute now, I promise. Pause one at the All Caps event. We are so excited to be here. You just got off stage. The energy is high. How are you feeling? I mean, I'd like to see it a lot higher. So we got tables and chairs. I want to see people break something. Uh, I hope the insurance is great. We hope it's great, too. Uh, you mentioned you kind of want to see uh, everyone get a little crazy, a little vibes up. I mean, we've been stuck in the house. We better do it right, you know? Yes, this is one of the first shows to open up. Since the pandemic started, this is crazy. Seeing all these people outside, everyone's excited to be here. Out of everyone that's here today, who are you most excited to see? Other than myself. No, I'm fucking around. I might do a couple songs, but really, I'm just hosting the event. Uh, honestly, I'm a, I'm a big fan of everybody that's on the bill. We got uh, two dope producers that are going to do live beat sets. We got Surplus. We got Science, and we got two really dope DJs. We got Redmatic from the Beat Junkies, and we got House Shoes. And after that, I mean, we got Dirty Harry at Raw Digger. You know, really, really dope. And we got the Visionaries that's like right on top, the frosting right on top of the whole shebang. That's right, that's right. So you also have a podcast. You were like all around doing everything. You have a podcast. How has that been going so far? I mean, it's been going good, but uh, it'll stretch you thin. You gotta have patience and weed and alcohol and patience. Patience. I feel like everyone's making a podcast now, but you are doing it right. You are doing it successfully. He is a friend of the Underground Hip Hop blog. We are happy to see you. We're happy to be here. Tell us where we can find you on all your socials. Everything is literally at P A W Z and the number one. Yeah, because I'm number one, two, three, four, and so on. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you for having us. I appreciate you guys coming out. I crack a lot of jokes, but we're going to have a good fucking time. Appreciate you guys coming out, for real. All right, thank you, Pause One. All cats, baby. Rest in peace, DMX. Rest in peace, DMX. Shit, who want this versus work?
work? Which one of them bitches want this versus work? sex symbols and shit going on as far as the female rap is concerned. Yeah. We need the OG veterans to represent and lead the way. We don't need to try to fit in. We need to lead the way. We need to set the bar and be the example. And now I'm about to do what they do out this bitch. I'm going to smoke. Because I'm so professional. I don't like to indulge before the show, but now, yeah. I'm about to get these free rolls. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so much. God bless. Oh, and I got tea. I got a couple left. I got some Rod Digger shirts somewhere at one of these merch tables. I got black lettering. I got pink lettering for the ladies. Go get you some. I think it's like 10 left. So go get that. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs> Mrs. Bigger, I was waiting till everyone finished with you, but I'd love to ask you just three questions, if that's okay. okay. We're with Underground Hip Hop Lock, the biggest underground hip hop lock in the world. We would love to just talk to you for a second. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're gonna be at our studio. Right. Legendary, beautiful, iconic Rod Digger. How are you feeling after your set? Uh, I'm good. You know, another day in the life. But I love California. It's like my second home. So any any opportunity I get to come out here, I'm with it. Yeah, it feels so good to have you here. It's been a long time since we've had this many people outside. To see you was truly an iconic moment. Tell me, there was a lot of energy out there. Do you have any like pre-show rituals to help you calm down before you go on stage? Um, I just kind of like sit to myself. I, I try not to uh, do a lot of mixing and mingling before the show. I, I don't want to absorb everybody else's energy. I just kind of get in the zone. Every so often, I may take a, 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 a shot of some cognac because it, uh, you know, loosens up the palate, warms up the, the vocal cords. But other than that, um, it's muscle memory for me at this point. Oh no, I mean, it's more than memories for us. We are so excited to be there. The energy in the crowd was heavy. The vibes are almost like tangible. You really brought it. I'm so glad to be talking with you. So. <laughs> One last question for you. What, you know, you've recorded hundreds of songs, hundreds of lyrics. Tell me, is there one song in particular that you love performing in front of a live audience more than anything else? If not, that's cool too. You know what? That's, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, one of my favorite songs, but it's so wordy that I hate performing it, is a song called Storm Coming. But on the flip side of that, I think I really like performing my Angela Davis record because I think just the message and, and just kind of like the state of the culture where we at right now really resonates with people. You truly are the modern day Angela Davis. Thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate you. We're so glad. Well, dig everyone. Underground Hip Hop Blog. Tune in. That was good. You Thank you.